I'm CM Coleman, welcome to my home. Today is the first part of a requested video from MBRC, who wants to see me do things using 15 bean soup mix. And I thought, well, that's a really good idea because this is really cool. However, why not make our own 15 bean soup mix? I have all 15 beans. Well, technically I have 14 right now. The 15th one is coming. But I'm going to show you how to make this. It is so super simple. We're going to make it in no time. <laughs> it just takes a lot of beans. I got all of the beans for about $16. That's right, $16, and this will make a lot of soup mix. But let's make it, let's mix it up first. Are you ready? Our 15 bean soup has the following beans in it. Black beans, red beans, kidney beans, navy beans, great northern beans, baby lima beans, large lima beans, pinto beans, green split peas, yellow split peas, black eyed peas, red lentils, green lentils, brown lentils, and cranberry beans. Once you have all the beans in your bowl, now you just get to mix it up. You are going to need a big, big bowl for this. Once all of our beans are mixed, we're gonna put these into containers. You can put them into whatever size containers that you have. I'm just using my handy dandy homemade funnel. And now these I seal off, and I'd use different lids, but I'm gonna use these right away. We're gonna clean this area up, and then I will show you how to make our uh, 15 bean soup. So we've made our bean soup mix and this is it. Now if you're going to cook this, there are a couple ways that you can do this. I'm going to do one which is pretty cool and I think you're going to like it. It doesn't make as much broth but we'll, I'll show you what you can do about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simmer this on the stove for a really long time. You could do it in a slow cooker but it's up to you or you could soak these for about two hours or overnight so that the beans, which is two cups of our bean soup mix, soaks overnight. Then I'm gonna just put that in a pan, and like I said, I'm gonna cook mine for a really long time. I have six cups of vegetable broth. Now you can use beef broth, you can use chicken broth, whatever kind of broth you have. And I'm just gonna put that in there. The cool part about this is it will absorb some of the flavors as it cooks. Then I have half of a chopped onion, one clove of garlic that has been minced. I have one tablespoon of parsley, a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of basil, and also one bay leaf. Put all that in there. Then I'm going to take this over to the stove and I'm going to let this simmer and it will absorb the taste. It will be wonderful. I think you're really going to like it. All right, our beans have cooked for about three hours. I just let them simmer and they smell wonderful. Now let me give this a taste. Those are really good. Now there are a couple things you can do with this. I love the taste as it is right now, but you can add salt and pepper, you can add tomatoes, whatever kind of vegetables you want to. It is really good and I think you're going to like this. Now we're going to do other things with our 15 bean mix, but this is a fast and simple way of making 15 bean uh, soup. Really easy and the cool thing about this is by doing this with a broth, you can then just make it taste great. If you decide that you want to cook it faster, soaking the beans overnight will help and it will make it cook in about an hour. But if you cook it in the broth, just slow cook it and it is great. Now for those of you who are meat lovers, yes, you can throw in some meat and uh, cook it that way and it is a wonderful, wonderful mix. If you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget to hit that red button there and subscribe every Monday through Friday at something different. Tuesday is always a recipe. You can check out my latest playlist and see what I'm up to. And remember, running your house doesn't have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun.